The question is that Amendment 11027.1, in the name of Rachel Hamilton, which seeks to amend Motion 11027, in the name of Paul McLennan, on Rural and Islands Housing Action Plan, be agreed, and members should cast their votes now. The vote is closed. I call Colin Beattie for a point of order. Uh, I would have voted no. Thank you, Mr Beattie. We'll ensure that's recorded. The result of the vote on amendment number 11027.1 in the name of Rachel Hamilton is yes 55, no 65. There were no abstentions. The amendment is therefore not agreed. The next question is that amendment 11027.2 in the name of Mark Griffin, which seeks to amend motion 11027 in the name of Paul McLennan on Rural and Islands Housing Action Plan be agreed. Are we all agreed? The Parliament is not agreed, therefore we'll move to a vote and members should cast their votes now. The vote is closed. The result of the vote on amendment number 11027.2 in the name of Mark Griffin is yes 22. No, 96. There were three abstentions. The amendment is therefore not agreed. The next question is that motion 11027 in the name of Paul McLennan on Rural and Islands Housing Action Plan be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. The Parliament is not agreed, therefore we'll move to a vote and members should cast their votes now.
the result of the vote on motion 11027 in the name of Paul McLennan is yes 69, no 53. There were no abstentions. The motion is therefore agreed. I propose to ask a single question on two parliamentary bureau motions. Does any member object? No. Therefore, the question is that motions 11043 on committee membership and 11044 on substitution on committees in the name of George Adam on behalf of the Parliamentary Bureau be agreed. Are we all agreed? Yes. The motions are therefore agreed. And that concludes decision time and we'll now move to members' business.